If society will not admit of woman's free development, then society must be remodeled. I do not wish to give women a first place, still less a second one, but the complete freedom to take their true place, whatever it may be. For what is done or learned by one class of women becomes, by virtue of their common womanhood, the property of all women. It is not easy to be a pioneer but, oh, it is fascinating. I would not trade one moment, even the worst moment, for all the riches in the world. When life follows the course of our desires, it is easy to be swept along without thought. The idea of winning a doctor's degree gradually assumed the aspect of a great moral struggle, and the moral fight possessed immense attraction for me. Health has its science, as well as disease. A blank wall of social and professional antagonism faces the woman physician, that forms a situation of singular and painful loneliness, even her without support, respect, or professional counsel. It is not easy to be a pioneer, but, oh, it is fascinating. Our school education ignores, in a thousand ways, the rules of healthy development. Methods and conclusions, formed by half the race only, must necessarily require a vision as the other half of humanity rises into conscious responsibility. I must have something to engross my thoughts, some object in life which will fill this vacuum, and prevent this sad wearing away of the heart. I, who so love a hermit life for a good part of the day, find myself living in public, and almost losing my identity. To her, Florence Nightingale, chiefly I, owed the awakening to the fact, that sanitation is, the supreme goal of medicine its foundation, and, its crown. On sex, the total deprivation of it produces irritability. It is well worth the efforts of a lifetime to have attained knowledge, which justifies an attack on the root of all evil, which asserts that because forms of evil have always existed in society, therefore they must always exist. The gross perversion and destruction of motherhood by the abortionist filled me with indignation and awakened active antagonism that the honorable term female physician should be exclusively applied to those women who carried on this shocking trade seemed to me a horror. It was an utter degradation of what might, and, should become a noble position for women.